So, where's Dick Whittington all this time? Isn't he supposed to be the hero? Doesn't he want to be Lord Mayor of London any more? It's very valuable, I think. I don't know. It's some kind of talking mirror. That's what I've heard, anyway. A talking mirror? Yeah, her. I think she bought it in America. Is it for blind people? No, no. You ask it questions and it answers them. Like she asks it, "Who's the fairest of them all?" And apparently, this mirror said I was. Well, you know, that's no surprise to me. You are very, very pretty. Really? Do you think so? Oh, come on, Snow. You must know you're gorgeous. <laughs> well, I did have a suspicion, but it's ever so nice to hear it confirmed. You're beautiful. And if I were more than just a rotten assistant paperclips officer, I'd ask you to ask me to what, Dick? Well, I'd ask you to be my girlfriend. But I know that a swell girl like you wouldn't be seen dead with an ordinary guy like me. Would you? No, but maybe if your cat does really well in the rat catching contest and you become Lord Mayor, then <gasps> the rat catching contest! I completely forgot about that. It's five past four. The tail counting will already have started. Come on, we're late. <laughs> and lastly, with an absolutely incredible thirty-one tails. We have tiddles. Come and get a warm sort of milk for young tiddles, and we'll be in a please come forward. I can't see Apple anywhere. They're about to announce the winner. He doesn't have an owner. So, what do we do now? We can't have a cat as Lord Mayor. Cal Supreze, I knew Apple wouldn't help me become Lord Mayor. He really is the most selfish animal in the whole world. Wait, Dick. What? That music. It must mean Apple's coming back just in time. You're right. Well, it's the first time it's happened in eight hundred years. But I can now announce that. Hang on. I think we have a last-minute tangent. We have a cat at the back of the crowd, who appears to be floating. Look, there's Apple, but he's not floating. He's being carried by rats. Good people of London, do not run away in fright. I come in peace and goodwill as an ambassador for my good friends, the rats of London. Who today saved my life? I have something very important to say about the rats of London. Too long they've been confined to the shadows and sewers of our great city, afraid for their tiny lives, while we hunt them down with traps and poisons and so-called sporting events like this. Too long we've retained false ideas and stereotypes about our fellow creatures, who are actually very clean animals. What about the plague then? Oh, that was ages ago. You know, plagues happen from time to time, and everybody goes a bit crazy, and some people die. But we haven't had a plague in this country for over three hundred years. I just think we need to get over the plague. If you make my master Dick Whittington Lord Mayor of London. He'll work with the rats of London to ensure that we never see a plague ever again. Oh, oh! What is your name, good cat? My name is Apple, my lady. That's a very strange name for a cat, but I can tell you that you are the winner of the 134th rat catching contest. Who is your master? That's me. I'm his master, my lady. Here I am, Dick Whittington. Well done, Apple. Congratulations. Get it? Congratulations. Is this man really your master? Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. Apple? What do you mean? I'm not sure. It's me, Dick. Your old buddy. I've never seen this man before in my life. How can you say that? I'm your oldest friend. Come on, let's go out to celebrate. I'll get you that nice tuna steak I promised. Oh, you're all friendly now. Now that you're about to become Lord Mayor of London, where were you when I needed you? 
Getting cosy with Princess over there, no doubt. Ah, yes. Apple, I want you to meet Snow White. Hello, Apple. I've heard all about you. I'm sure you have. Look, I really need to get home. Is he your owner or not? Maybe. Oh, all right. Yes, he's my owner. Oh, Apple, thank you. I'll never forget this. Dick Whittington, I hereby pronounce you Lord Mayor of London. And so the Lord Mayor's carriage makes its way slowly down Oxford Street, surrounded by crowds of rats, cats, and people. What a fine summer's day to have a Lord Mayor making celebration. Yes, and what a fine young man this Richard Whittington is. Let's just hope he's got enough spunk for this most difficult and challenging job. There are so many things that a Lord Mayor has to do. He has to ensure that Big Ben is fed twice a day, and that all the tourists pronounce the word Greenwich correctly. And of course, his most important job of all is to make sure that the entire city of London never, ever runs out of paper clips. What's that you say, paper clips? I thought I was finished with all that. Oh well, at least as Lord Mayor of London, I'll be able to marry Snow White. What's that you say? Marry you? I said I'd go out with you, but no one ever mentioned the big white dress. One step at a time, Lord Mayor. Okay, okay, one step at a time. But you will go out with me, won't you? On a trial basis. Okay, I'll go out with you. And so they might not be happy ever after, but let's hope our friends Dick Whittington, his cat Apple, and Snow White will be moderately content for a good amount of time. The end. ينصح الخبراء اليابانيين باتخاذ الإجراءات التالية: سبسكرايب، لايك، كومنت، فيفرتو.